morning YouTube welcome to the channel it's Saturday the 28th of August and it's a lovely sunny day and I'm here in the Elan Valley in Wales with <laughs> Mr. Tim Withers again <laughs> so anyway the last time Tim and I met it was we came here and I planned a, a nice casual 35 mile 35 mile ride and it turned out to be a, a 41 mile absolute beast of a ride <laughs> we've never experienced so much water in our lives but it was absolutely brilliant so uh, yeah it's nice to catch up with Tim again so yeah it's uh, just gonna be a nice casual 25 miler today um, yeah it should be really good and for our brothers and sisters in the United States of an American Sestershire we're in the Elan Valley in Wales Sester Sester Sestershire which is next door to Scotland which is in England now the interesting thing about the Elan Valley is this is where they make all the water for the United Great Britain Kingdom of Sestershire. And then it goes all over the world in bottles. Carbonated water. And they store it in valleys made by dams. So yeah, Wales Sestershire, Water County. Laters. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the last time we set off we went down the side, Tim nearly had an off. <laughs> Do you, remember, do you remember that? <laughs> and them ladies were walking up. Right. But down here. Okay, we're plodding up, we've left Elan Valley Village now and we're plodding up the, uh, up the nice big leg tickler to the top. Bloody hell, this is a, <laughs> this is a tickler in the morning, what did it say you Tim? Yeah, <laughs> the old heart yeah it's a nice little warm up, anyway nearly at the top. Okay, we're at the top, Tim's blowing and I'm blowing. Right. So if you've seen any other videos, we're going up through the ladies. Oh, up we go. Rocky ascent. Morning. Morning, ladies. Megalithic. <laughs> Stunning day, absolutely stunning. Come on ladies, move your bloody asses. Nice and dry as well, which is good. Now it's wet, so I've got to be careful. Slippy, wet grass. Uh, right, we go down here. All right, I'm going to take it easy because I have come a cropper down here before. As the sheep chew it so tight, it's bloody like ice. It's down here where I safely negotiated. <laughs> Extreme River Crossing number one. Splash. It looks promising actually, not much water. Extreme river crossing number two. Off. Nice little view is there. Lovely. What's that got from? Uh, one sixty. Both front and rear. 
Is that the first time you said that to a guy, is it, Tim? Does he got a lot of stanchion hanging out? <laughs> it didn't work for me. I think we've got an extreme river crossing number three. Oh, yes. Awesome. Hey yeah, ladies, come on ladies, move your bloody asses, thank you. Extreme river crossing number four. Go on then Tim. This could be YouTube gold. Oh, oh he's made it. Right, my, this could be YouTube gold now when I come off. Made it. <laughs> Onwards to the rocky road. It's just a nice casual leisurely ride today. It's great to catch up with Tim. It really is. Oh, bro, the gate's open. Hooray! Extreme river crossing number five. Awesome. We've got some fishermen. Morning, guys. Tight lines. Tight lines. <laughs> no, we don't want loose wheels. Morning. Hey Tim, we're down straight. We're down here. We're down here. That's the way we went on the uh, the the epic. Rocky Road's down here. <laughs> Tim's lost, and he he's a local. Okay, we're on the Rocky Road now, or the Sunken Road, or whatever you like to call it. Let's hope there's not too much water. My new Tim said he likes the water. I don't know why they call it the Rocky Road. <laughs> Could have named it something better. Oh, Tim popping his wheel over the, over the water. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be as much water this time. Because that would have been a lot deeper behind us. Looks like we've got some off-roaders, green laners. Here we come. Hey guys. Off-roaders. Him. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh. that was slippy. <laughs> wow, that was bloody interesting. The back wheel just hit some slippy rock and just the way it went. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Can he make it? Oh. Thank you, Tim. See if we can get up here. Well, I'm impressed with my recovery before. <laughs> Go on. Yes. <laughs> it's Tim. Go on, son. God, that was bloody slippy. Oh, 
guy is going to go through. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was deep. <laughs> Shit. That was just mud more than anything. Hey, normally this would be just water, deep water. Another shot, there's a clear one down there. No water coming over. The reservoirs are really, really low. Okay, Tim Withers. Mr. Tim Withers, danger seeker and his specialised waterproof Levo. <laughs> He's going for an early bath. Come on, Tim. <laughs> The world is watching. Go on. Yes, awesome. Extreme river crossing. Got his feet wet. All right, there's other bikers with the river crossing. Kim and I, Kim, Tim. Tim and I are gonna take the footbridge. Follow the ladies. Right, this is the first time Tim's ever known of this bridge and he's a local. This is his local area. He says, you mean to tell me I've been taking the river all this time, never known about this? <laughs> yep. Okay, let's go. All right, we're just pushing across now because there's the gate, there's the ladies, there's the dry dam. There's Mr. Tim. <laughs> it's caught on the gate. All right, so we've just come from down there and then we're going to be going. Oops. We're going to be going across, back up the road, and then down, up the valley. Yeah, in between the valley over there. So he's away. Clear and down. Reservoirs are really dry at the moment. Really, water levels are low. Anyway. Weather still amazing. Nice cool breeze. There we go. There's Mr. Tim. Oh, breakfast. Got a bacon bat, love. Okay, we're just casually tootling along now. So we've just come up the rocky road there. Sunken road come this way. And now we're going to be heading off up the valley here. Here we go. Off road. Oh, it's a bit of a steepy, this. Lovely jubbly. Uh, down, around, down, up, and up. I was just saying to Tim the last time I was here, coming up here, there was a farmer just on the side here with his dog trying to get this sheep in. And this dog wouldn't do anything the guy wanted. And he was going absolutely ballistic at this dog, effing and blinding and jumping up and down. <laughs> and I just, it was as funny as it was. I thought, that dog's time is limited. I reckon he'll be able to bullet in the head by the time he gets back. I'd like to think he's still alive. But anyway, it was hilarious. I say, last time it was really boggy coming down here and I did a bit of pushing, so let's see what it's like now. I'm going for it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Right, which way do I go? I'm gonna try that way, and I'm gonna push up there. That's it. We're off, we're down the, up in the valley, and now we're riding along the valley. What a lovely, lovely ride. I say, it's really nice to catch up with Tim again. I have to come out again and do the, is it the Monk's Road you call it? I think it's the Monk's Road. Yeah, the, the Monk's Road. Tim hasn't done it either, so it's one way you, when you come by the Clearwind Dam, you then follow the, the road along the Clearwind Dam, get to the other side and then chuck a right up and over. Yeah, I think it's called the Monk's Road. If anybody knows what's it called, please leave a comment in the bits below. We're on the top now. There's the uh, Elan Valley punishment posting <laughs> at the mast. So we're gonna go head on down and then we drop that nice little uh, downhill descent to the dam. And then we're gonna go back up because that's where the flow trails are. And have a look at them. 
Right, this is us approaching the wood now, where we drop down. Tim getting some stylish air time there. <laughs> go for it, Tim. Oy. Right then, down we go. Some water and mud. Oh. Nothing come in, look left, look right, and down we go. Whoosh. Walkers coming, wow, near front end nearly went then. Right. Let's make sure nobody's coming, no. The last thing you need to do is pile into somebody. Right, it's really loose this. And there's a gate coming here. Skiddy, skiddy, skid. Right, we're going to go to the flow trails now. Tim's just told me at the middle bit where we crossed the road, we should have turned left. Anyway, we can get to it up here, so let's have a look at it. Right, we're still plodding up to the top. Tim assures me he knows where he's going. <laughs> anyway. I'm sure we'll be there soon. Up there. Oh, we got up here. Right, I'll let Pathfinder Tim go. Say, so, this is all new to me. Bit of a diversion about a tree down. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <sighs> Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Spin out on fur, fur cone femur jigs and fur needles, <laughs> and now I'm here. <sighs> it's, one of, it's one of those, you feel it go, you feel you go, and it's like, oh dear, what are we going to do here? Oh, thankfully, no damage except to my underwear. <laughs> and Tim took a picture. Excellent. Right, so Tim's got himself a bit of a, a puncture situation. He's just put it on now. Um, so, while he's finishing off, let's go and look at where I had my comedy off. <laughs> right, so, we were coming up the track here. Trees down, so we had to go around. And the surface is all this loose uh, pine needles. Anyway. Came up, around front wheel hit this exposed um, route here which is really slippy back wheel started to go there I carried on round out of control and then went off here you can see all the snappage where uh, I went down I mean them some of them bits of wood they're pretty bloody spiky and hard they are and it, I felt it when I went down I mean that could have been interesting if Stephen and the twins had have connected onto some of that it'd be like a, a sausage and plum Shazlik. <laughs> anyway, it's on film, it was a comedy, it's all good. Let's go and see how Tim's getting on. Are you winning? It's winning. There's your mobility scooter looking good. Now, so this, Tim tells me, I say, I've never done this before, but this carries on up out into the open bit to the bit where we rode across, and then you go down to the gate, through the gate bit to the, to the track, 
and then when you get to the roadway halfway you then turn left and then pick up the flow trail which I didn't know about so yeah I'm looking forward to that in a bit. Puncture repaired now Tim's blamed me because the, the last time we were out together two years ago we had a puncture in the same wheel and this is the first one he's had since then so it's all my fault which I think I think is unfair to be honest <laughs> and it's my fault that I had the comedy crash on the log that he had the puncture <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd never told him that. Anyway, well, at least he found out his little mini pump's a load of crap. He had to use mine. <laughs> right, so this will take us to the bit we've already done. I didn't know that. Um, the first downhill bit to the uh, the road. And then we pick up the, uh, the little flow trail bit. So. Okay, so there's a little gate here. Through the gate. And then we'll turn left. Ah! Here he comes, Mr. Puncture Man. <laughs> right, so this is us back at the gate now at the top. We've already done this. Right, so we turn left now, and we should pick up, well, we will pick up the little flow trail bit. Is this it here? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. Right, well, I'm going to take Tim's advice. I'm going to do the blue one, which goes off to the right, because it's longer and better than the red. Right, so this is the blue. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's crack on with the ride now. Right, so we're going to pick up the route again now, over the bridge, pick up the cycle route to the top of the dam, to the top of the reservoir and the dam at, the, at this one, and then we're going to head up and over the hill there, onto the road, then up and over, pick up the, uh, the golf links, and then back into Raider and back in. Happy days. Ty's looking all right, Tim. <laughs> this, is a, this is a really nice cycle, actually. Just follows the... Um, the side of the reservoir round. Highly recommended if you, your, your partner's got a bike and you want to come up here. Nice and casual. Bring a picnic and a flask of tea. Right, there you go, gents. The dam water levels is very low. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty bad. Not that I'm saying we want rain, but we want rain. Lots of it. Anyway. So this is a cycle track, I think it's called the Osprey Trail, or I think you see whatever trail, and it's really, really, really nice. Okay. Right, so we're still following the cycle track um, down there. Right, Tim's putting out routes here, there and everywhere. But we're going to go to the end of the reservoir and then chuck a right. Right, we've got to go this way because the path goes through the cutting there where the railway used to go. And there's been a massive landslip. And it's all been uh, gated off, can't get there. So we've got to push around here. Get up there, my son, get up. I made you jump then. <laughs> Deep in something. Wow, get a load of that. That is super low, that's incredible. Nice little picnic spot there, Tim's pointed out. Just can't get over how low, you know, that should be up to the grass. Incredible. 
Right, we're just coming up to the top dam here now. Wow, that is incredible, look at that. Very, very low. Birmingham, stop drinking your water, mate, and washing your little poodles. Okay, we're at the top dam. Right, which one's this? This is, oh, I'm not quite sure which one this is. Uh, anyway. Okay, so here we go. No water running over. Right, I've just been selling the, uh, the bonuses of e-bikes to these guys. And you are? Marcus. This is Marcus. And Rosie, Marcus is going to buy an e-bike. Rosie's going to dump him. <laughs> In a bit, guys. Bye. Right, we are off up here. So we're going to follow this up and over to the Metals Road, and then we're going to go up onto the uh, the golf links, and then drop down into Reda. Right, I've never done the golf links, but Tim's a regular to the golfies, so I'm just going to follow him. So this is all new to me. I've never, never, ever been out these parts on an e-bike or walking so all right this is bloody lovely here now really really nice so this is where we are there's no bogginess just lovely dry right Tim's having some kind of not mechanical but an electronical with his bike it keeps turning off uh, so I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it he's gonna get it in the shop and get it looked at but I suppose that's the price you pay you uh, specialized people <laughs> It's specialised, it's got special needs. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it won't cause too much of an issue. Okay, Tim's got it back going now. He did kick the motor and it seemed to work after that. <laughs> right, it's just turned off again. Tim's plodding on without battery power. Um, he has got a battery stashed. So hopefully when we get to that and put the new battery on, that'll give it a bit of a kick up the backside. If that doesn't work, then we're just gonna take the road. We'll, we'll bin the golfy bit and just go back down the road into Raider. So the Specialized is still not playing. Right, we've got to bite the bullet now. Instead of going up and round, it's not fair on Tim. So we're going to go back round, drop down, and just take the cycle path, the level cycle path, back into uh, the car park. And then Tim can get his bike back home and uh, get it sorted. Real shame. But this place ain't going anywhere. So Tim and I will be back. What that bike needs, Tim, that specialised bike, I'll tell you what it needs. It needs a Bosch Gen 4 motor sticking in it. <laughs> Yay, Bosch Gen 4. I'm a Bosch man through and through. I tell you, Bosch make good washing machines and they play with water. Never fail. And that's Tim going up there on normal leg. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame and it, it, it wouldn't be any fun for Tim going over that big bit. Just get up this little bit, then it's downhill onto the cycle path all the way back into the car park. Right, thing we've got to remember is when we go back to the dam, if that couple, young couple are there, who we were singing the praises of e-bikes for, we've got to say that Tim's a doctor and he's been called out. <laughs> Nothing to do with the fucking motors failed. It's the lady who, my bell, my bell end scared her. You, you were prepared for my bell. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Here we are back at this dam. It's very popular. Got some people on regular bikes going up the hill there. <laughs> they want to get themselves an e-bike. And they're brilliant. Right, so we're back at the bit where uh, the railway line used to cut through here and it's all blocked off now because of a landslide. I don't know if you can get to see it. We'll have a look at the other side. So yeah, we've got to push back up around there now. Anyway. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, Tim's bike's just turned itself back on. <laughs> Right, so we've just come, well, we went around over the other side and then we're coming back, so this is why you can't ride it. It's been a huge landslip, as you can see. And this is where the railway line used to come through. And it's amazing to think they actually cut through that. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, this is where we are. Tim's still pressing his bike. Any joy, is it still on? Or has it gone off? Oh, it's on now. <laughs> Anyway, let's crack on. Right, I'm going to do a little test now to see if anybody actually watches these. I'm talking about you, Mr. Phil Lloyd. If the weather was uh, turned inclement with, and it got colder and rainy, I would stop and then I would put my jacket on and then crack on. Get that on a t-shirt, baby. <laughs> 
Right, specialised Levo update. It's switched off again. <laughs> it's just randomly switching off and on. Tim seems to think it might be the switch on the uh, on the top tube, but who knows? All right, this is us back at the car now. I'm going to get my little digi come out, do a piece to camera. Okay, that's us back at the car now. Uh, 25 miles. Really good ride. It's just unfortunate that Tim's specialised Levo kept switching on and off. Hey, will you stop saying it like that? What bike's that, Tim? Specialised Levo. Yeah. It's got an automatic on-off switch. It's got a mind oh, of it. Okay. It's like the Herbie of the bike world. It just does whatever it wants. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been an absolutely cracking, cracking day. Regardless of the, the specialised Levo issue, it's been <laughs> brilliant to catch up with Tim again. Thank you very much, Tim. Uh -huh. I might not come again if you keep on saying that. <laughs> he, he won't come again because he keeps getting a punch and he'll blame me. <laughs> anyway, it's been a cracking day. Um, we will be back to finish this one off. Uh, we'll add a few extra bits onto it as well. But yeah, absolutely brilliant day. Do the old like and subscribe or like or subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much for watching. Tim, thank you very much for the company. A specialised Levo. Yeah, that's a good ad for a specialised Levo. Very cheap. Yeah, get a Bosch bike, Gen 4. Okay, in a bit, peeps.